Hey guys, it's Michelle here. It's Farah, and today we have a book haul. Yeah. We always have these book hauls because we're always buying books, and we should really stop because we're broke. Like we're, we really are broke. We have no money. We're save. Well, we're saving up to buy more books later for this next convention, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. June. So these are books that we have bought for throughout like a couple months. Yes. So they weren't all just bought in one spot and. Yeah, they are. Yes, they too. Stay too. Okay, so the first book that I got, this was given to me from a giveaway thingy. My public library was having its 50th birthday, and so they had like book giveaways. So I won Dan Brown Inferno, and I'm pretty excited to read this because I've been actually wanting to read this. Mm -hmm. And then my friend who works at the library, she said it was really good. So these next two books I got at the North Texas uh, Teen Festival. Uh, there were actually giveaways, or this was a speed dating, and this one was a giveaway, you know. Oh, uh, this one, I Was Here by Gail Foreman, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much about some suicide and stuff like that, so it's gonna be sad. Go. Grief, you know, you know how she is, If I Stay, if you ever read that book. Um, and this one is Stray, this is actually a, a princess, or maybe, I think it's fairy tale, mm -hmm. a remake of a fairy tale, so yeah. Oh, I got this speed dating. You know, if you don't know what speed dating is, where you pretty much you get a ticket, and uh, they, when you call out your time, you go inside. Yeah, and then there's get, a bunch like, of tables yeah, set up you, with different books, and then they these people sitting by the books. They quickly give you a summary, and you go around and you find the book that you like the best, and then you take it home. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. These are her books that she got. These are the books I got from the Teen Book Festival. This one that I bought because I really enjoyed Ink and Bone, yeah. and Rachel Kane was there, so I got it, and then okay, yeah, made her. Yeah, yeah it. to the coolest person ever. And then these are two books that I was given. This one was The Speed Dating, Steve Jobs. If you don't know, Steve Jobs is like my idol. He literally <laughs> had, you know, paved this engineering path for me. He's the reason I am where I am today. You were gonna get something else, but you got that one. No, I was gonna get another book by her. It was something called Over the Sea, mm -hmm. but it was really popular at the time, but this other girl wanted it more than me, and I was like, after the teen festival, I met this author who like I absolutely adored and her name was Jessica Broody and I actually got a book from her online. It's kind of like messed up, but it's unremembered. So that's pretty cool. I also got that other book, Boys of Summer. Boys of Summer, we made a video about. So of course, when Charles of Apollo came out, I had to just buy it, so I bought Charles of Apollo and I don't think we need to talk about where yeah. this stands in my life because it's pretty high up there. You know, Rick, he needs to chill out with the book covers. They're um, really nice. I know. Like the Magnus one. I know. The reason why people be buying these books is because of these book covers. They don't want to read the story. Man. Then I went to New York for a choir trip or, you know, school New trip. New York. New and York. I got this there. I had to have a memory. So whenever I read this, is you know, I'm going to be like, New York trip. And it was actually on sale. Oh, wow. So, on sale, which is like full price here in Northern <laughs> States. <laughs> New York, yeah, probably. It was uh -uh. five dollars. So. Yeah, yeah. You could have got that for a dollar at half price. It doesn't matter, but I got this in New York, and that's awesome. Uh -uh. So half price was having a twenty percent off Memorial Day sale. Mm -hmm. So I got three classics. I got A Tale of Two Cities, and let me just let me just talk about this book real quick. So. I've been starting and stopping this book so many times. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I'll pick it out from the library, read a good chunk of it, and then I'll say, no, I hate it, and I'll put it back. Mm. So this time I was like, you're going to buy this book, and you're going to actually read it because you need some culture in your life, you know? So, <clears throat> a classic in your life, maybe. I know. And she only got it for a dollar, so that's a good deal. Yeah, so I got it for a dollar. And I, and I have to read this because... If I can accomplish reading this book, then I feel like I can accomplish anything. I don't know why, it's just this book. It's just, it's just this book. Maybe it's because like you tried it a couple of times and you failed. Yeah. That is boring. Maybe it'll be good the 20th time around. <laughs> and then of course I got Jane Eyre and Pride and Prejudice. These are just must-haves in your yeah. life. Yeah, I'm super excited for both, honestly. I know. Oh. Also for the 20% sell, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got this, Sarah Desson, Homegirl. I actually read... I actually read one of her books, Say Anything, anything. Mm -hmm. Jinx, which is really good. Like, this is a, one of her older books, and I'm excited for this. You gave Say Anything like three stars. Almost two stars. Really? Yeah. I had my reasons. 
You do, I really like that book. No, um, well, I, I feel like, you know how I am. I have, they have potential. And then it's like, because it turned out this way, I didn't really like it. Oh. But I like the characters and I like her. Oh. Okay, so Half Price was having a nice little festival where everything was uh, $2. And it was huge. It was a big or convention. Less. So, yeah, yeah, $2 or less. But the ones that were less were like VHS tapes. Nuh uh. I got. This for oh, 56. paperback. Yes, paperback for less too. But there were VHS tapes. They were throwing it back hardcore, you know? Yeah. So. I got The Lake of Dreams, and she, Kim Edwards was the one who wrote um, The Memory Keeper's Daughter, and I have that book at home. And then I've been wanting to read The Joy Luck Club since forever, so I got it. And I was so happy when I found it. I was like, wow. Wow. Yeah, there's a reason why I got it this early. Yeah. Okay. We woke up like at 7, 7.30. And I don't remember what time I woke up. Well, you woke up at 8. <laughs> but yeah. That's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, also at that sale, I got way more books than her. Yeah, these two, they were actually paperbacks for 50 cents. So I got two. This is a notebook. You know, everybody knows this book. Uh -oh. And I actually never read it before. So I'm glad I got it. And it's actually in really good condition. It, it is. It's in nice condition. Yeah, and this one, uh, it's pink. That's not why I got it. It's actually really about, it's... Oh, you know that's why you got it. <laughs> you know, don't lie. Yeah, don't it lie. is actually. But then I, I read the summary and it's about, you know, two people falling in love, like at little, at age, you mm -hmm. know, when they're small. And then they lose touch and then they meet again. You know, one of those books. So I was like, I'll give it a try. Yeah, there's a bunch of books like that. Yeah, I know. You you bought it but because it was, it was pink. Cents. Oh. Yeah, I did buy it because it was pink. Uh -uh. I got, also got The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. You have too many Nicholas Sparks books. I know, but he's really good. He is. I love Nicholas Sparks. And this is really good condition, y'all. Like, look oh, at this. Oh, yeah, for like for it to be $2? Yeah, that was $2. Yes. And, it's, and it became a movie, and I still haven't watched the movie, so I'm really glad I got that book. And I also got Street Farm. Street Farm. Yeah, I've been wanting to read this freaking book for a long time. Because... Like, my friend had it, and, like, I kept telling her that I want to read it, but I guess she forgot. She's kind of like me. Not you, friend. Oh. Well, not you, best friend. I thought I Some was other the friend. only friend in your life. <laughs> well, this is actually about a gangster. And he, like, falls in love with this, you know, goody tissues girl. You know, he doesn't want her to be on that part of his life. I was super excited when I found this book. You know what? I don't know if any of y'all ever heard of Ellen Hopkins, but we were at that place and I was thinking about her like man it would be so awesome if I found one of her books because I I wanted to get one of her books you mm -hmm. know because she's like great so I was walking towards the where all the books were and I saw it it was oh. black and it said glass and I knew it it was Ellen Hopkins oh. but I already read the book mm -mm. and so I was so disappointed and I kept looking maybe hoping hoping that it will be another Ellen Hopkins book but there wasn't she and I was so sad but I am glad I got something that I wanted mm -mm. so yeah and Nicholas Sparks he's he's yeah, you homeboy. got you got homeboy Nick yeah I, I had a successful day I don't know yeah. about you but I had a successful day and the line oh long. for checkout I mean this this place was huge as is they were doing 20 loop de loops in yeah. the upward home. They literally had a sign that said, end of the line starts here. I know. Poor guy. Poor guy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weird book haul where we... Books throughout the time. Yeah. Books throughout the time. That's actually cute. Thanks. Thanks. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see us talking about more books because stories never die. Yeah. There you go. Actually, this video was mostly about us telling our stories and how we found these books. Not mm -hmm. about the books, but if you want a video like that, just comment down below. Oh yeah, if you want like a summary of each book, we can do that too. But some of these books you probably already know, like Pride and Prejudice, Trials of Apollo, Nicholas Sparks, The Notebook. If you haven't seen or read The Notebook, then come on. Like, even I have seen it. Like, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right. peace out. Okay. Alright, all right. slipping all over the place. It's a slip and slide <laughs> open here. <laughs>